The following portion of daytime is sponsored by the Sonoma County Tourism Bureau and California Travel and Tourism Commission. Hey, welcome back, everybody. You know, Cindy is meeting some really interesting people out there in California's Sonoma County. Yes, she is, and she's introducing us to a woman who's competing in this season of the Iron Chef. Anna, can you some help here? <laughs> Dusky Estes, her husband John Stewart, and their two kids love the land they live on in Sonoma County. They have some pigs, chickens, turkeys, pet goats, rabbits and two dogs. We're gonna uh, have these guys grow up and they're gonna be wandering around outside and they're gonna be laying eggs. And All right. We use the eggs um, both for our brunch at Zazu on Sunday mornings and uh, to serve with our awesome bacon that my husband makes. Hey Brian Disorders, can you play the best looking um, better butter you've ever played in? Both chefs, Dusky and John, run a successful restaurant in Santa Rosa. They firmly believe in knowing exactly where their ingredients come from. This is where the food from Dusky and John's farm ends up. Their restaurant, Zazu. Let's go inside. Zazu has been ranked one of the top restaurants in Northern California since it opened in 2001. Something unique about Zazu, you can pick your own vegetables for your dish. I've got a tomato here. I'll just bring it right over to the restaurant. There's a vibrancy in food that hasn't spent any time in a refrigerator or spend any time traveling. So that's why we like to get our hands dirty. Dusky is a contestant on this season's Next Iron Chef on the Food Network. She couldn't talk about how well she did since the series hasn't aired yet. She started cooking in an easy bake oven when she was five years old and she hasn't looked back. Well, we change our menu every single night, uh, and that's part of my ADHD, alive and well. Um, it keeps me interested, and it also keeps us very in tune with the season. But in order to get people to come back, we do have a certain number of dishes that never come off um, and are here year-round. And one is a steak with Point Reyes blue cheese ravioli. And then one of our desserts is always on the menu, what we call the Zazu Better Butter. And it's two peanut butter cookies with peanut butter gelato on the inside and then a dark chocolate fondue for dipping. If you're ever in Sonoma County, check out Zazu's Restaurant and Farm. You will not be disappointed. Bon appetit. Oh, that looked delicious. That steak looked incredible. And I love the next Iron Chef. It's a great show, Very too. Very nice, yes. All right, now what do you get when you mix a love of movies with a love of vino? You get the Francis Ford Coppola Winery in Sonoma County. Here's Cindy with a look. Welcome to Francis Ford Coppola's Winery. Kind of looks like a palace. It's modeled after the Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen. Let's check it out. How involved is Francis Ford Coppola in all of this? <laughs> I'm laughing because it's, he's extremely involved. I've been with the company since 1998 and every single label that's produced this label here, for example, uh, he's designed um, what you've seen today in the winery. He started with a sketch and he actually designed it and um, worked with architecture firm and whatnot. But yes, it's partly all his vision. You're the winemaker here though. How much does he know about making wine? He knows a lot. And uh, when I first started, he kind of gave me his philosophy. And, and one of them is, is about food and wine. And so now um, Rustic, which is called, is the, the name of the restaurant, has Francis's favorites from food all around the world um, so he really does again going back to your question early how how involved is he he's helped develop that list what makes a great winemaker ah that's a very good question <laughs> um, being in touch with the vineyard I think it's all about vineyard and knowing your vineyard knowing the growers um, every vintage is completely different mother nature throws you curveballs all the time so if you know your vintage, you know the vineyards and the growers, it makes your job much easier once those grapes come in the winery. We encourage people to come out to Sonoma and the valley to see the, the colors of the leaves are changing, the smells, um, the fermentations, the food, the wines, and everything that we have to offer. Not only a cool place for wine lovers, but for movie buffs as well. Oh yeah, we have the Oscars, um, we have the Apocalypse Now uh, movie memorabilia, so oh yes, there's quite a bit around here. Talk about cool memorabilia. Marlon Brando sat at this actual desk in The Godfather. 
And check this out. This is an actual Tucker car from the movie Tucker. Only 48 exist, and Coppola owns two of them. If they gave Oscars for wineries, Francis Ford Coppola would win yet another. This man not only knows movies, he really knows wine. If you're coming to Sonoma County, you've got to check this place out. I had no idea Francis Ford Coppola had a winery. You didn't? No. Oh, well listen, we should get you a taste of that director's cut wine. <laughs> and for more information on California Wine Month, log on to visitcalifornia.com slash wine month. Just ahead on daytime, the alligator capital of the world comes right here inside our daytime studios. And plus, just wait until you see Dave's face when he misplaces a tarantula. The tarantula That's was crazy. okay. <laughs> The preceding portion of daytime was sponsored by the Sonoma County Tourism Bureau and California Travel and Tourism Commission.